Inside this Vancouver lab, the printers aren't for paper. Instead, they're being used in hopes of producing something unexpected, sperm. We wanted to really replicate what we see within the, the natural human body and try to create these tubules that are about the same size as what we see in, in the actual testicle. So that gives us a pretty good buffer in terms In of a world first, Dr. Ryan Flanagan and his team at the University of British small, Columbia so. 3D printed viable testicular cells. Using stem cells they obtained from a testicular biopsy from a 31-year-old patient with non-obstructive azospermia, or NOA, where no sperm is found in the ejaculate, the team cultured the cells. When those continued to show a positive viability rate, they were 3D printed onto a petri dish into a hollow tube-like structure resembling the sperm-producing tubules found inside the testicles. Twelve days later, the cells had not only survived, but thrived. Uh, we got partway to creating a full sperm, so we arrived at a middle stage of, of that sperm production process. For men diagnosed with NOA, the current option is surgery, which can be invasive and ineffective. Global experts say this study is a game changer. When you take that hope away from patients where they can't have kids and tell them there is no option, and then you bring forward an option such as what Dr. Flanagan is proposing, that could make a huge difference in the world of infertility. Flanagan is motivated by the patients he hasn't been able to help. He says his team will now try to coach the printed cells to produce sperm, facilitating cell-to-cell -cell interaction. Now, this is really the starting point for, for our research with the end goal of giving more men the opportunity to become biological fathers. Jamie Marocker, Global News, Toronto.